Hi. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the auto delete and auto archive feature of SuperPower Chat GPT. Before we start, um, to use SuperPower Chat GPT, you need to have it installed. To get SuperPower Chat GPT, go to Google, search for SuperPower Chat GPT, click on the first link. It will send you to this page. Um, there's a button here that says Add to Chrome. Click on Add to Chrome. Once you do that, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and you'll see all the features loaded on ChatGPT, like the folders, the um, tone selector, writing assets, like all these features will show up. Um, in this video, we want to talk about the auto delete and auto archive. So um, both auto delete and auto archive are for your conversation, meaning that um, instead of you going to your conversation history and manually delete some of your old conversation, you can turn these features on so that they automatically delete your old conversation after a certain number of days. Um, to use these feature, um, by the way, these are auto delete and auto archive are Pro features. So to use them, you need a SuperPower Chat GPT Pro subscription. So with that being said, um, to use Auto Delete and Auto Archive, it's super simple. All you need to do is to go here, click on the setting icon. Um, this will open the setting, then go to Conversation, and here you can see two new uh, feature right in front of you: Auto Delete and Auto Archive. They are by default are turned off. Um, you can turn them on, you can turn both of them on or one of them on. I recommend only have one of them turned on because you either want to delete your conversation or you, you want to archive your old conversation. You don't want to have both, like, both of them turned on to both delete and archive because then one of them is going to happen. And um, if it deletes them, then there is nothing left to archive. So I would recommend only have one turned on at the same time. So depending on which one you want to do, you can go here and let's say you want to automatically delete your conversation. You can turn this on. Once you turn it on, there is a um, input here that says delete after seven days. So by default, it's seven days. Um, conversations that are older than seven days will automatically be deleted. If you want, you can change that number to anything you want. It can be from anywhere from one day to like like there is no maximum number you can just pick a number that you like and um, if you don't want to delete the conversations that are inside a folder let's say you created a conversation and you save that conversation in a folder that means that conversation is important you don't want that to be deleted so all you need to do is to just click on inside this checkbox and by doing that it will skip conversations that are saved in a folder. So it will only delete a conversation that is older than seven days and is not saved inside a folder. That way you know that like the conversation is not important and it will automatically delete them for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Same thing with the auto archive. If you want to turn it on, you can turn off the auto delete and turn on the auto archive. Um, it, it, similar thing, archive after seven days by default, you can change that number and you can also do the same thing here. You can skip conversations that are already saved inside the folder so that only conversations that are not in a folder are, um, are uh, archived after seven days. So this is what, was just a quick video about auto delete and auto uh, auto archive. Um, super simple um, to use. Um, all you need to do is just turn it on and stop worrying about all of your old conversations. Uh, again, these are two pro uh, features. You need to have a pro subscription, but um, using them is super simple. Uh, I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.